Senator Michael McDowell. I'll ask her, like, um, there are two matters that I want to uh, raise, if I may, today. One of them is uh, the publication on the 27th of March 2019 in the, in the name of the leader of a bill from the Department of Justice in connection with gaming and lotteries. The um, bottom line of which is that uh, the 1956 Gaming and Lotteries Act is to be amended so as to take away from local authorities the right to decide whether or not to permit gaming uh, casinos and amusement halls in their areas and to transfer this away from local authority members, this power, and to uh, effectively give it to um, other authorities. And um, I just want to be very, very clear on this. I am totally opposed to that principle. Yeah. Firstly, local authorities have few enough powers, but one of them is to determine whether or not the people who live in their local authority area are to be subject to a rash of gaming machines um, uh, uh, appearing in, the, in, 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 in their area. Secondly, we do not need gaming machines. They add nothing to the sum total of happiness, of happiness or anything else. They are permitted in amusement arcades in places like Bray and Bundoran and the like because uh, they were seen to be part of a, of a, of a holiday um, uh, um, entertainment uh, culture. That's the business of, of those local authorities. But I think it's scandalous, I have to say, that Dublin City is now going to be open uh, season for, um, for gaming machines. And um, the experience of the British, and particularly in, uh, with fixed odds betting terminals, the experience of, of Britain in relation to the um, total misery that these machines uh, visit on people who become addicted to them. And I see that in the bill it's proposed that 10, 10 euros is the maximum bet on any occasion. This is wrong, and it's going to be a tax on the poor, a tax on the addicted, and a tax on the vulnerable. It's going to be an expropriation of their money uh, to enrich people who add nothing to the sum total of, of, of human happiness. And I just want to say that today, in advance of the, uh, the second stage of this bill ever being considered, I am wholly opposed to it. I think it's a step in the wrong direction. And for a government that's talking about local government reform, to strip local governments of this particular power is, I think, wholly wrong. I mean, for instance, Alaska here, look, it sure, surely should be up to the people of Killarney whether or not Killarney does or does not have gaming machines and amusement halls. It should be up to the people of Tralee to make the same kind of uh, um, decisions about their areas. And we're, we're now going down the road of, 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 of taking that power away from local authorities, uh, I think wholly wrongly. The second thing I just want to say is this, that um, as we uh, conduct our affairs today, the uh, general election is, is on in Israel. And um, in an effort to uh, obtain the maximum number of seats, the Netanyahu administration, or regime I would call it, uh, has um, now pledged to annex Palestinian uh, settlements and to make them part of uh, Israel's sovereign territory. Our government was supine on the subject of the settlement goods legislation. This House showed some bravery on the subject contrived reasons about charges on the exchequer and needs for, the need for money messages were used to obstruct that from going through Dáil Éireann. If we are going to be trampled all over in asserting our parliamentary view that the um, Israeli government should not be permitted to extend its sovereignty over Palestinian territory and make what is de facto de jure with the assistance of the Trump regime in, in, in Washington. We need to start talking openly and candidly now. And the last thing I want to say is this, that I'm not afraid. I, I, I believe in the right of Israel to exist. I've always believed in the right of Israel to exist. And I'm not afraid to say that my opposition to this cannot be legitimately described as anti-Semitic in any way, is not anti-Semitic, but is simply pro-human uh, rights of everybody in the area, and in, part and, and in particular, particular as, as Senator Norris says, the, the Palestinian people are Semitic people as well. I just want justice for these people, and I don't want this international regime of bully boys from Brazil to Israel to America to Moscow 
um, to become legitimised because decent people don't speak out and Houses of Parliaments in liberal democracies don't make their views known. Thank you, Senator.